Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be doing another installment of the Simple Summer series where I will be dropping tutorials that are beginner friendly and that are perfect crochet items for summer. For today's video, we will be making this top. This top is actually pretty old. I created this design when I first started Anne's Closet. It's called the Triad Top. It's definitely, definitely, definitely one of my favorites. So much so that I've actually made it in several different colors, which is rare for me because I always tell y'all that I'm gonna make something in a different color and that I never do it. But this one I've made three times. Not only is it super, super, super easy to make, it is also very quick to make. I think I got this one done in about an hour. So just a little view of what it looks like. It's really easy, it's really just one big triangle, but we'll get into that when I start the tutorial. Before we jump in, I do need to take care of the housekeeping, so make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and make sure that your notification bell is on so that you can be notified every time I post, every time I go live, etc, etc. If you really, really love me, make sure that you become a member of this channel and join the A-list. It's only $5 a month and there's some pretty cool perks involved. Also, if you check out the description below, you'll find my social media websites where you can keep up with me on a daily because I do post every day on social media. And you'll find my website where you can find my designs, my patterns, and I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. And my coaching is not just for crocheters, it's for anyone that wants to build a brand, start a YouTube channel, or anyone that wants to learn how to write crochet patterns. Or if you are a crocheter and you have questions about your work, you can book a session with me and I can help you. Alrighty. I think that's everything for the intro and let's just jump right in to the tutorial. So for today's tutorial, we'll be using a size five millimeter crochet hook and we'll also be using this velvet yarn, this Bernat velvet yarn. I do believe this pattern will be able to use acrylic or cotton yarn as well, but you may want to use a yarn that's a little bit more on the bulkier side, so maybe a weight five yarn instead of a weight four. And yeah, that's what we'll be using for today. I found this yarn at Hobby Lobby. They also sell it at Joann's, at Michael's. It's actually pretty easy to find and comes in a lot of beautiful shades. So yeah, this is the yarn we'll be using for today. So to begin, we are gonna start off with a slip knot. And then we're going to chain 13. After you chain 13, and I know this yarn is a little bit harder to see, but after you chain 13, you are going to double crochet into the third stitch from the hook. So this is your first stitch, this is your second, and this is your third. You're gonna do a double crochet into that third stitch. These two chains that we skipped does count as our first stitch. Um, and now we're gonna double crochet into the remaining stitches. Just one double crochet into each stitch. You should have 12 double crochets all together, including that chain two that we skipped at the beginning. Now we're going to chain two again. You're going to skip that first stitch, which is that last double crochet from the previous row. Into the next stitch, you're gonna double crochet. And you're gonna double crochet into every stitch across the row. Now, typically when we're doing this, we would place our last double crochet into the second chain from the chain two that we skipped at the beginning. But instead of doing that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna double crochet in between the chain two and this stitch right here. So in this hole right here, we're going to put two double crochets. Then we're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna put another two double crochets into that same hole. 
And now we're gonna be working along the bottom of that first row that we did into these holes under each stitch. I know it's a little hard to see, but they're there guys. You just gotta poke your fingers through and you'll see the little holes. We're gonna be placing one double crochet into each one and you should have a total of 11 double crochets just on this side alone, not including this cluster that we just did. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Eleven. So this is what it should look like so far. From this point, you're gonna chain two again, and we're gonna double crochet all the way until we hit that chain one space. So you're gonna skip that first stitch and go into the second one and double crochet, and place one double crochet in each stitch. When you get to that chain one space, you're gonna place two double crochets, chain one again, and then another two double crochets into that same chain one space. Then you're gonna to continue to place double crochets in each stitch. And don't forget to place a double crochet into the second chain from the chain two we did at the beginning of the previous row. And we are just gonna continue to do the same exact thing over and over again until you have your desired size triangle. This is one I made previously and I'm about to tell you how many rows I did. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. So we have one, two, three, four, 14 rows of double crochets. So, I mean, you can make your triangle as big or small as you would like. I'll have suggestions for rows for the different sizes over here, but you're just gonna continue to do literally the same exact thing over and over again until your triangle is as big as you want it to be. So yeah, we're just gonna continue on doing the same exact thing we just did in the previous row until your triangle is your desired size or you can use the recommended size amounts that I'll provide. So we chain two at the beginning. We skip that first stitch, go into the second stitch, double crochet. Double crochet in every double crochet from the previous row up until that chain one space. When you get to that chain one space, you're going to place two double crochets, a chain one, and another two double crochets in that same space. Don't forget, it goes all in that chain one space. And then you continue to place your double crochets in every double crochet from the previous row. And that's really all there is to it, guys. Like this top is super easy, mainly because it is the same, the same directions for pretty much the entirety of the top with the exception of the border. So I am going to get the 14 rows or maybe 15. I think I'll do mine just a little bit bigger because the last one I did, I did like three years ago when your girl was a bit smaller. So I'm gonna get these rows done off camera and then I'll come back and show you guys how we're gonna do the border at the top and how we're gonna do the strap. Say a prayer for me also because I only have this one skein of yarn for this top. I honestly don't think I'm gonna use all of this, but at this 
point i think i may be playing a little bit of yarn chicken we'll see i really hope not though um i know the bernat velvet skeins are pretty big so this top should only use maybe about one fourth to one half a skein depending on your size but yeah say a prayer for me let's hope i don't run out of yarn i am back and this is what we have so far, which is just one huge triangle. I know I said I was gonna add more rows, but honestly, 14 rows is the perfect amount. Let's just count together again to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, per 14 rows is the perfect amount. So what we're gonna do at this point is we're actually going to bind off and clip our yarn like so like that and then now we are going to make a chain of about a hundred um, for larger sizes I would suggest maybe 150 smaller sizes maybe about 80 so yeah let's make that chain Actually guys, we did about 150 chains. I find that that was a bit better. And now what we're gonna do is into this top right here. So this is the peak of our triangle into the top, into the top corner. We're gonna place a double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, go into that gap in between these two stitches pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to place another double crochet in that same gap. Now into the next gap, we're gonna place another two double crochets. In the next gap, two double crochets. And we're just gonna keep doing that all the way across. Placing, a, placing two double crochets in between the two stitches along the top of your triangle. Now, once you've finished placing your double crochets along the top of your triangle, you're going to chain another 150 or however much you chained for your first strap and your top will be finished. So this is what your top should look like. It's really just a triangle. So I counted down about 10 stitches, um, not including the top border. So the 10 stitches on the side, and that's where I put my strap. So move my hair out the way. Hopefully you guys can see, but the strap, I pulled it over. I pulled it over and across my back and I wove it into the gap in between the 10th and 11th stitch. And I did that on both sides and then just tie a bow. It is really easy. You wanna make sure that you tie it very tight so it's uh, nice and secure. Your girls will not pop out. And as I told y'all, I have made three of these tops and I actually made the first one of these three years ago. So I have worn this several times and I have never had an accident. I have never had a nip slip. It all matters in how tight you tie it. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. But don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn your notification bell on so that you can be notified when I post and I go live. Join the membership program if you wanna help this channel out. Check out my description where you'll find my social media and my website. Buy a few patterns. Your girl does this full time. So anything you can do to support this channel is much appreciated that is it for the video i love you guys so much see you in the next one hi i know my lighting is probably different but i just had to come back and show y'all my favorite of the three this like i don't even know what to call it this gray black mix up of colors i did use the burnett velvet yarn i think i told y'all in the beginning but this one this one is my favorite. All right, I just wanted to show y'all that.